this is going to be a review on the Spider-Man Homecoming 3.75 inch movie 2 pack of Spider-Man and the Vulture and this is the back of the package over here and if you want to see what the text says in the back you can take a look over here And going to open this up and continue the review. All right, this is the 3.75 inch scale movie Spider-Man and movie Vulture 2 pack. And let's get to the review here. I'm going to review the Spider-Man figure first and then the Vulture. This Spider-Man is based on the Spider-Man Homecoming look, the costume he wears in the movie. And let's check out the details of the costume. It has the movie design. Hopefully it's going to show up for the chest symbol. The movie eyes. It has the black bands for the web shooters here. You can see it goes, hopefully you can see the black lines here. You can see the, the black bands here, the boot area. It's well designed, it looks like a unique sculpt Hasbro did for this scale. Let's take a look at the, the mask. One thing that they didn't do, you really can't tell, they sculpted in the webbing, but it's not colored in black in terms of any shading or the black lines. And you could see some of the like uh, lines in the blue area like in the movie that they put in. It is about four and a quarter inches tall. And the articulation, the head, good range, up, down, and to the sides. Shoulder area, on a ball joint, in, out, up, down. The elbow only has one point, and you can't spin it. But, there is no articulation at the wrist. This is a fist, and this is the web shooting pose. But without the articulation here, you can only bend it at the elbow to pose it and spin it around. Upper torso, down, up, not too much, but side to side. Nothing at the waist area. The hips on a ball joint, to the sides, up or down. Double knees. And the ankle has a pivot in, out to the sides. Overall, definitely not a bad figure for the scale and just could have used a little more a little more posability I think by the wrists and the waist area. Otherwise, pretty much has it all. On to the vulture. It is about four and a half inches tall and the wings are almost eight and a half inches wide. And what's really nice about this two pack is even though it's not as detailed as the six inch version and it doesn't have the fans, this vulture and this two pack, you get it all. You don't have to buy any separate parts. You have it all ready to go, a complete set of the figure. 
But the six inch scale, you had to buy all these extras just to get this. And you could see that it's pretty nice. It does move a little bit, but no in or out, just up and down. That's about it. And look at this. You could see the technical sculpting they did here. I like the shades of green that they used here. And let's take a look at the sculpt here on the Vulture. It does not have a removable helmet and you don't see the eyes. In the 6 inch one and the movie you could see the eyes but it's just one uh, green piece here for the visor. This looks cool. The technical metal bits here. See the straps. He has gloves on here. This has an open look to hold something. This is a closed fist. You can see the dark brown, the dark green here. Technical equipment going on. Look at the feet here. Standout feature. has a nice armored look to it but let's check it out with the wings on that looks a little better nice overall interpretation just from a visual standpoint it looks nice that way I think Hasbro did a good job on this unique sculpt. As for the articulation, the head on a ball joint, it can go up pretty good. Not really down, that's about it, just stationary. But it could go to the sides. Shoulder area on a ball joint, in, out up down one point at the elbow and you can spin it but again nothing at the wrist so if you wanna pose the hand you gotta do it at the elbow area or the shoulder area nothing here I thought there was waist articulation but there is not but the hips side to side up and down and they do give you a double knee articulation and the feet do have a pivot so good range up down and to the sides but like spider-man no wrist and could have used articulation either here or here but there isn't any but you do get the complete vulture and spider-man in the setup which is really great I'm going to give my final thoughts about this two-pack in a moment. So what do I think of the 3.75 inch two-pack of Movie Spider-Man and Movie Vulture? And I think it is a really nicely done set because not only do you get the hero and the villain from the movie, unlike the six-inch Build-A-Figure, you don't have to get seven parts to build his wings on the vulture. You get the figure itself with the wings and it looks good in this scale. And you get the hero. And it's just, I mean, if you want the two main figures from the movie in one set for an affordable price, this is it. You get both of the figures and you can put it on display. You really can't go wrong. It's all done for you. One set, you get it all. That's what I like about it. We don't have to look for other figures or get other parts from other characters. The wings look nice. The sculpting overall looks nice. And it could use more articulation. I'll give you that. 
but Hasbro has cut down in recent years. But what you get is definitely good enough. And I think if you're on defense about it, I would recommend getting this set. It's nicely done. And another good addition if you're building the 3.75 inch scale line. Really can't go wrong with the set. Thanks for watching and talk to you later. <laughs>